May 24th, 2019. Here's what's happening. Something is developing on the continent of Antarctica that is garnering a great deal of attention. A stunning void has been revealed below western Antarctica that extends for more than 15 square miles, or two-thirds the size of Manhattan. The cavity is also 984 feet in depth, about as high as the Chrysler Building in New York. The huge opening below the Thwaites Glacier is tremendous, and it is continuing to grow. The cavity is so large that it is estimated that it could hold 14 billion tons of ice. What is more disturbing is that the opening has lost much of its ice volume in just the past three years. This suggests that the glacier is not securely attached to the bedrock beneath the ice and has therefore become the most dangerous glacier in the world. Using ice penetration radar, as well as data supplied by German and French scientists, researchers have been able to locate and examine the cavity. The discovery is on welcome news, since large sectors of the Thwaites Glacier are retreating by as much as 2,600 feet per year. According to researchers, the giant cavity plays a crucial role in the melting process of the glacier. As more heat and water are able to penetrate under the glacier, the melting process accelerates. This is a significant discovery since the Thwaites Glacier currently accounts for roughly 4% of global sea level rise. If the glacier were to retreat entirely, the ice melt could lift the ocean elevation by nearly two feet, which would be an alarming scenario, but there is something much worse that could happen. The Thwaites Glacier is responsible for maintaining the stability of neighboring glaciers and ice sheets that are located further inland which is why it is considered as such an important structure in the Antarctic landscape. Therefore, if it were to disappear, the consequences could be devastating for much of the world. Scientists are uncertain how long the glacier will remain in place, which is why they have embarked on a major expedition to collect further data on this important glacier. What they will find is anyone's a guess, but the research being conducted is a huge priority. It is among the most important research being conducted in the world at this time.
as one geoscientist from the United States recently said, when it comes to global sea level change in the next century, the Thwaites Glacier is practically the entire story. Astronomers from around the world are perplexed by an odd phenomenon that is taking place on the surface of Jupiter. The planet's great red spot appears to be unraveling. Long streamers of gas are spinning away from the edge of the giant storm. The plume of gas is enormous, stretching more than 10,000 kilometers from the central storm to a nearby jet stream that appears to be carrying it away. The gray red spot is the biggest storm in the solar system. It's actually an anticyclone, wider than Earth, with winds blowing at 350 miles per hour. There was a time when the great red spot could have swallowed three Earths, but in recent decades, the maelstrom has shrunk to where only one Earth could fit inside. The unraveling clouds were observed back in May of 2017 by the Gemini Telescope located in Hawaii, when astronomers noticed a curious hook-like cloud formation on the red spot's western flank. Observations over time have shown that the streamers are disconnecting from the great red spot, and they are dissipating. But the process is not always observable, as Jupiter spins on its axis every 10 hours. If you're an amateur astronomer, and you happen to get lucky, you may be able to observe the changes that are happening to the great red spot. Next month, Jupiter will approach the Earth for a close encounter. During its time of opposition, around June 10th, the planet will shine four times brighter than Sirius, which is presently the brightest star in the sky. Amateur astronomers, even those with smaller telescopes, will be able to see Jupiter's storms and their moons and the cloud belts. So keep your eyes towards the sky in the coming days. In recent weeks, manifestations of a spiritual nature have appeared in the sky. For some, the appearance of heavenly figures may be nothing more than a coincidence. But for others, it holds special meaning that coincides with the signs that will appear in the sky in the latter days. In mid-May, a photo taken in San Salvador, Argentina, went viral. The image resembled a Christ-like figure, wearing a crown, with his arms stretched out. Social media users were stunned by the resemblance. They spotted the crown of thorns on the head of the figure, going as far as to comment that the world needs this in a time of trouble. The image is being compared to the Christ the Redeemer statue in Rio de Janeiro that overlooks the city. Just a few months ago, in March, another heavenly figure was captured over the Tyrrhenian Sea in Italy, which is remarkably similar to the one in Argentina. Is it just a coincidence, or is it just one more sign of the times in which we now live? Regardless of your beliefs, the imagery represented in the clouds is truly remarkable and worthy of your consideration. As we go about our daily lives, we often forget to recognize that the things which we see, whether they be animate or not, are truly a visual manifestation of the work of an unlimited power which created all life in the universe. We have become so accustomed to all things that surround us in our existence that we no longer see them for what they are, the works of that which has dominion over the earth. Thanks for watching.